So here we go. Welcome along to our celebrity Christmas quiz here on the big show. It's going to be good, fun, and crazy as it always is. Uh, joining us this year, we've been joined by the drummer from Flash Harry. Stevie Shanks is here. Hi, Stevie. How are you? I'm fine, Robin. And yourself? Great stuff. Welcome to the show. We're joined by Miami show band legend Des Lee. Hi, you, Robin. I hope your music knowledge is up to, to scratch, I Des, hope for so, this. But yeah. I want to know where's the turkey and the brandy. <laughs> Later, Des. <laughs> oh, Later, <okay>. Des. <laughs> and also joining us on the quiz, battling it out, West End star Pauline Carvel. Are you ready for this, Pauline? I think so, as ready as I'll ever be. All Robin. right, okay. <laughs> Guys, I hope you know your Christmas classic tunes. We'll soon find yeah. out. <laughs> soon find out is right. Okay, our first round is all about Christmas music. Okay, so I'm going to read you out some well known Christmas lyrics, and all you got to do is tell me what the next line of the Christmas song is. Okay? If you can do that, you will get one point. If you want two points, just tell me who sung the original version as well. Okay? We're going to go ladies first. I'm going to start with Pauline on oh, this lovely. one. Okay. <laughs> Here is your song lyrics. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas, just like the ones I used to know. Where the treetops glisten and children listen. Yeah. That's okay. That's right. Okay. You got a point for that. <laughs> to hear sleigh bells in the snow was the rest of the first one, but we'll give you that one anyway. Thank you. Okay. For two points, who did the original version? Um... Crosby? Yeah. Bill Crosby? No. <laughs> Bill Crosby? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Thank you. <laughs> I think it might have been his brother Bing. Bing Crosby, all right. <laughs> 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 we'll give you the two points for that one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to remember that when we get ours wrong. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> right, okay. Calm ourselves. Des, we're moving on to you for your one. It's Christmas time. There's no need to be afraid. No, you got me. No? No? You don't know that song? My God, Des. Band-Aid. Way before my time. Band-Aid. Oh, Do they know it's Christmas? Do you know what it is? Yeah. I didn't hear that song because I was living in South Africa when that was released. <laughs> <laughs> My excuse, can All I'm right, stuck? okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, Stevie, we're moving on to you for your well known Christmas song. Oh, my love, we've had our share of tears. Oh, my friend, we've had our hopes and fears. Huh. <laughs> I know the song. You've got to get this. I one. can't get there. I can't get the next line of it. <laughs> I don't know this one. I do know the song because it. Hmm. No, I don't know the next line of that one. Yeah. The next line, oh my friends, it's been a long hard year, but now it's Christmas. Yes, it's Christmas. Thank God it's Christmas. Yes. Yes, that's Freddie Mercury did that one, didn't he? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and that's why I thought the drummer from Flash Harry <laughs> would definitely get that one. <laughs> I was going on in my head, I was like, I should know this, I should, and I know why I should know that. Yeah, thank exactly. God it's Christmas. Freddie, Freddie wouldn't well, at be least impressed I got a point. with you. At least I got a we'll point. We'll give you a point for knowing <laughs> that it was a Queen point. song indeed. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> can, Pauline. can we edit that one out? <laughs> <laughs> Pauline, back to you, okay. Snow is falling all around me. Children playing, children playing, having fun. It's the season, love and understanding. Merry Christmas, everyone. Bye. Um, what's, oh, um, Shaken Stevens, is it? Shaken Stevens it is. There we go. Whoa. Another two points for you. <laughs> you two. Well okay, done. Des, you've got to do better this time. I know I have to. Okay. Last Christmas, I gave you my heart, but the very next day, you gave it away. You blew it apart? <laughs> See, I'm a songwriter, so I can write my own lyrics. <laughs> Last Christmas, say, sorry, I gave Rob. you my heart. Yes, but the very next day, you gave it away. Mm, I know the song. I know the song. Uh, uh, sorry. This year, to save me from tears, mm -hmm. I'll give it to someone special, and the song is. Got me. Wham. Yeah. Wow. Last Christmas. Oh my goodness, oh sorry. There we go, ooh, so Des, ooh. once again, no points for you. Uh oh, I think I'm uh, on my way out. Okay, Stevie. Okay. Another one With the one you. point, remember With I have your one, one point, point exactly. <laughs> the child is a king, the carolers sing. The old has passed, there's a new beginning. This is Harry Belafonte, is it? No. No. Dreams of Santa, dreams of snow, fingers numb, faces aglow. 
It's Christmas time. Mistletoe and wine. Mistletoe wine. Wow. Never would have yeah. got that in a million years. No. There we I'm go. usually pretty good at lyrics. Yeah. Time. You are, aren't you? Okay, your final chance <laughs> to get some points here. We'll go back to Pauline for your last one. Okay. Oh, no. Are you hanging up a stocking on your wall? I know what. Um, are you hanging up a stocking on your wall? Is it time that every Santa has a ball? It is. Do you ride a red-nosed reindeer? Does your mom go on a sleigh? It's <laughs> <laughs> about sex lines. We'll, we'll give it to you anyway. You've got the next three lines anyway. And of course, the artist was... <laughs> Uh, Slate. Slate. Merry yes. Christmas, everyone. There yes. you go. Well you done. Six points hey. out of that round. What about oh that? Oh, my goodness. Okay, Des is still on zero. Can you make yourself a couple of points from this one? You better watch out. You better not cry. I'm telling you why Santa Claus is coming to town. We'll give it to you. Will you? Okay. Yeah, we'll give it to you anyway. You yeah. better watch out. You better not cry. Yeah. I'm um, telling you why Santa Claus is coming to town. We'll give that one um, to you. Who, name one of the many people who did that one. Uh, probably Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson did, of course, the Jackson 5. Ooh. So there we go. We'll give you your first two oh, points for that. You. Well done. Thank you. Okay, Stevie's still on one point. Okay, let's see if we can get you <laughs> some more points. Okay, let me see. When the snowman brings the snow, well, he just might like to know. When the snowman brings the snow, well, he might like to know. La, 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> I must be rubbish at Christmas. I must be a bit of a bar humbug, must I? <laughs> I must, because I thought I liked Christmas. No. He put a great big smile on somebody's face. If you jump into your bed, quickly cover up your head. Roy Wood and Wizard. Roy, 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 Roy. I wish oh, it could be Christmas <laughs> every day. So there we go. The end of round one. We've got Stevie on one point. We've got Des on two points. But way ahead, we got Pauline on six points. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> so welcome back to the Celebrity Christmas Quiz Part 2. And this time round, it's all about Christmas number one. So guys, you've got to know your music once again. I'm going to read you out a song title that was a number one at Christmas. And all you've got to do is tell me who the artist is. Okay. At the minute, Pauline is in the lead with six points, Des with two, and Stevie with one. So Stevie, we're going to start with you. This time, we're going to take you back to the 1980s. And just tell me, who was the Christmas number one in 1983 with a song called Only You? Flam Pickett's. Is the correct yeah. answer. Well done. Two points for you. <laughs> okay, Des, we're going to take you way back in time to the 1970s. Okay, back to 1974. And who was the Christmas number one with Lonely This Christmas? Mud. Is the right answer. Two points for you. Okay, Pauline, we're going to take you to the 1990s. And just tell me who was the Christmas number one back in 1994 with Stay Another Day? Heaven 17, is it? Stay Another Day? Stay, Stay another, day. another Day. Oh gosh, what do you call them? It's another boy band, isn't it? Um, oh, I can see them, I can see them. It was East 17. East 17. There we go, so no East points 17. for you that time oh, round. No. Okay. They're back in the game. Okay, Stevie, we're taking you to 2009, okay? And who had the Christmas number one? with a song called Killing in the Name. Not a notion. <laughs> Last year's Christmas Last year's number Christmas one. number one, I don't even know. Which don't wasn't know. an X Factor number one. Yeah, that's probably why I was, was thinking I didn't know it. No. Killing in the Name. Oh, was this the, uh, what, ah, this was like the wee war thing they had against yeah, X Factor yes, against somebody, is. wasn't yes, it? Yes, yes. Yeah, who was that? Killing in the Name. But it's not coming out. <laughs> Rage against the Rage machine. Rage against the machine. Oh, I knew that. Okay. okay, Des, Christmas 1981. Who was at number one with the song called Don't You Want Me? I know the song. I'm battling with the artist. Don't you want me, baby? Don't you want me? Oh, oh, sorry. Know the song, don't forget the artist. We all, we all know it I was know they the all know. Human League, don't we? <laughs> okay, Pauline, back round to you. And uh, we'll take you way back in time to the 1970s. And who was the Christmas number one 1971 with Ernie, the fastest milkman in the West? 
I have to say, I'm too young for that. Oh. <laughs> I have no idea. The boys know the Benny answer. Hill. Benny Hill, of course. Oh. Christmas 1971. <laughs> so there we go. Okay, one last time to get some points. Okay, Stevie, we're going to take you to the 1990s, okay? Who was the Christmas number one in 1996 with two become one? Become one. Can you not go over the 70s for me, no? <laughs> <laughs> or the 60s, even? <laughs> the 80s? Two become one. Yeah. I don't even know the song. I think I'm going out here. Uh, I think I'm going, I think I'm going the out. Spice Girls. Wow, I'm so glad I didn't know that. Spice Girls do become <laughs> I'm one. I'm actually quite proud of that. You're you know what? I'm, there, so you I'm do, comfortable yeah. not doing that one. <laughs> okay, Des, for you from the 1990s, okay? Who was Christmas number one, 1992, with a song called I Will Always Love You? Oh, I will always, and I, I, I will always love you. Is that the one? Yes, the one. Oh, my God. Mariah Carey? No, Whitney Houston. Oh, sorry. Whitney Houston. And I recorded that song. Did you? Can you believe it? There you go. There you oh go. My there goodness. we go. Pauline, your last chance to get some points. We're going to take you to Christmas 2000. Okay. Who was number one with the song called Can We Fix It? Uh, what do you call him? Can we fix it? <laughs> what do you call him? Oh. Bob the Builder. Bob the Builder Bob is the, the right answer. <laughs> well <laughs> done, well done. Bob the Builder. So at the end of the Christmas quiz part two, the scores are like this. We have Stevie on three points. We have Des on four points. But in the lead with eight points, we have Pauline. So well Yay. done. That, that means that somebody will be leaving us and will not be joining us for part three. And Stevie, that's you. Aww. Thank you for joining us. You're very welcome. Christmas Thanks for having anyway. me on. Thank What's you. happening with Flash Harry over Christmas? Any gigs yeah, we're up? Busy, busy, all, busy all year this year. We've loads on over, over December. We're in the Waterfront Hall on the 27th of December. Great. There's still a few tickets left. That one has said sold really fast. So if anyone wants to go get in quick, please. Great stuff. Stevie, thank you. Have a great Christmas. Thank you very much. Thanks for thank having you. me. Okay. <laughs> Right, here we go with the third and final part of our Celebrity Christmas Quiz. Only two are left remaining in the competition. We have got Des Lee and we've got Pauline Carville. This is the Christmas Cracker Challenge, okay? What they have to do is see how many Christmas crackers they can pull in one minute and deliver the joke from each cracker into the camera. All right? You've got it, guys? Yep. Des, you're going first when the clock starts. And your one minute begins right now. <laughs> oh, there's no joke, it's just marbles. Mo move on to the I second lost one. My marbles. <laughs> move on to the second one. <laughs> All right, here's the joke. Uh, blah, 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 blah. What award goes to designers of door, door knockers? <laughs> Don't know. Nobel Prize. <laughs> well oh, done, Des. Right, goodness. pull another one. Come on, kid. Right. <laughs> <laughs> More interested in the toys. <laughs> no, I think we'll pull another one. Let's pull that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, there's no... There's nothing in there. Let's pull this one. <laughs> what? There's no jokes. There's no... There's no Five jokes. seconds. Inside the hat. There's none inside the hat. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Des, your time is up. Your time oh. is up. Okay. At the oh. end of that round. Okay, Des, how many crackers did you pull? Five. You've pulled five crackers. Yes. Okay, and you delivered... One joke. One joke. <laughs> so we will give you six points oh, for that. thank you. Well You're done. Okay, thank so at the end of that round, Des oh. gets six points. Okay. All right, Pauline, are you ready? Yes. Okay, your one minute begins right now. Okay. Um, why did the rooster crow?
before daybreak. Don't know. His clock was too fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. you got another one. Yeah. Oh, um, what must you know to be an auctioneer? Don't know. Lots. <laughs> <laughs> Four oh, seconds. Yay! Um, what sort of song would a ghost sing? A haunting melody. Time. Yeah. Your time is up. Your time is up. Okay, at the end of that round, you delivered three jokes yeah. and pulled how many crackers? All of them. All of them. Six, so seven, six seven, crackers, seven. three jokes. That's nine points. Yeah. Okay, so at the end of our Christmas celebrity quiz, we've got Des on 10 points, but we've got the winner on 15 points. It's Pauline. Yay. Well done. Yay. <laughs>